Hello everyone and welcome to Knitwim Podcast. Today is January, Tuesday, 2015, and uh, I'm your host, Knitwim. Welcome. Cat. I hope the cat isn't too loud for this podcast. Um, let's get right into it. I have two finished objects this week. The first one is the Pembroke hat that I was working on last week. I knit this hat for my husband out of Malibu Rios. Um, and I didn't, I didn't like the way the decreases were for the actual pattern. So around row nine of the decrease pattern, I just started doing knit two together, knit four, and then around and so forth. Um, so this is the hat. And do 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 yay! Now I like my hats to actually cover my whole ears. This is for my husband, so he said he didn't want his ears covered. So that's that's his choice. That's his choice. But yeah, woohoo! And of course, this hat is going to get me yardage for the e sleep knit yarnathon knit along stuff with you know the headgear knit along and also I think I'm going to be able to do both the stash diver since I got I knit this out of stash that I bought last year. And also the uh, all the single la ladies booster badge for knitting something with only one skein of yarn. So that's the first finished object. The second one is spinning finished object. I finished spinning the uh, four ounce braid of superwash merino from Two of by Hand. This is the Antarctica colorway. I originally started spinning this for the quarterly spin along with the, the completely twisted and arbitrary group on Ravelry, but of course. I did not finish it anywhere near on time. It's more or less fingering weight, which is what I was, which is what I was going for. So I'm pretty happy about that. Check it out. Pretty happy about that. Woohoo! And then um, that leads me perfectly into my works in progress. I've already started on the second skein, uh, second braid of this fiber. This was the Antarctica colorway. I also got a four ounce braid of the same fiber in the New Zealand colorway. I started spinning that yesterday. So this is just so you can see what the colors are. All nice and browns and browns. So this is what I'm spinning right now. I like to keep my braid wound onto a spare bobbin just so that it's not coiled on the floor getting all in the way. And it's just how I manage my fiber when I'm spinning it. Um, the other work in progress that I have is more knitting with hand spun. I cast on the hand spun mitts by Vera Brosgel. I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. Um, it's a really um, nice mitten pattern. It's based off of the shape and form of the end paper mitts um, by Uni Jane, but it's uh, just plain and knitting and not color work to show off hand spun yarn. I really like um, that shape of the mitten, so I really like it. One thing, just like the in paper mitt pattern, it calls for a tubular cast on, which I did. Um, so you can see the tubular cast on is super stretchy and it makes the cast on edge just look knitted. It's really cool. Ah, King Kai, no, no. Cat's got my yarn. Come in here. Ugh. You see this monster? Ow, ow, ow. Say hi to the camera, King Kai. The cats really like yarn, and today, while I was spinning, he managed to attack. Like, he was pawing at the wheel while I was spinning it, and he managed to pull the drive band on off while I was spinning. I was, that was weird. I'm sitting in there pedaling, and nothing's happening to my fiber. I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? Why is it not coming in? Kitty. So yeah, so I'm doing that. Pretty happy about it. The the tubular cast on is kind of fiddly. You you cast on. You have to do it flat for the first four rows or five rows, and then after that you can start working in the round. Um, but the edge is really nice, and it's super stretchy. I mean, like, look at this. Does that look like it's gonna fit on my hand? But it does. It really does. It's. Do, 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 do. Because of the needles, it's kind of a pain to get on right now, but see? It's super stretchy. So I really like that. Stop. 
really like that. So those are my two works in progress worth showing. I was was going to swatch for my husband's sweater this weekend, but you know what? So many other cool things went on that I didn't even I didn't even do it. Here's the yarn. I was thinking about swatching. I didn't swatch. Maybe next week. I also did not do any granny squares for the uh, blanket, uh, uh, garden in time blanket that I'm working on. I did read a book. I finished the book uh, Cushel's Chosen, which is the second book in the series, which is so good. Oh my god. My co-worker is supposed to be bringing in book three uh, tomorrow when I go into work, so if he doesn't bring it in, I'm going to be like, oh my god, where's my book? I need to know what happens next. Um, if you know what I mean. So the other thing, fiber spinning knitting related, that I did um, yesterday was I made another bat. So I have, I'm, I want to learn how to dye fiber and blend fiber because, you know, ultimately I would love to be able to sell fiber on Etsy. Um, so I'm learning how to do it. And um, my friend Amanda got a drum quarter for Christmas and it's at my house. <laughs> And for Christmas, she got me um, some Bamboo, Angelina, and Firestar for blending. So I took a gradient braid that I had dyed. It was white at one end, and then it went gradient pink, and then was red at the other end. And I divided it all up, and I made some bats, and I blended in some stuff with the yesterday. So let me just show you. I, I divided them into three bats. So. This is one, and they're all sort of the same, but also a little different. Um, you can see, like, I folded it up twice. So I fold it, this is the whole bat. Back up so you can see it, the whole bat. And I, it's literally a stripe. Um, red on one side and pink on the other. And then how I fold it is I fold it in half, and then I roll it up, just for easy storage. So that's one. And then, oh, this. There's the other one. This one has a lot more of the um, sparkly sparkle in it. I don't know if you can see. It kind of went sparkle crazy on this one. So one thing that I'm not too sure about is like proportionally how much to put in, like especially like in the layers. Should I only put the sparkle on the top layer or should I do like layers of sparkle with the rest of the fiber as I feed it in. That's what I did. I'm not sure that's what you're supposed to do. So here's the whole thing. This one I managed to do three stripes. I have this pink stripe. Can't really see on that side. Pink stripe. So, and these are each um, like an ounce plus each. So I have two one ounce bats or like one's 1.3 and one's 1.2. And then I have the third bat is two ounces. Ish. So it's about four ounces. I don't know what the cat's doing in there. He's being annoying. So this one is the last one. I mean, like, they're all sort of the same, but um, this one is a lot fluffier. Um, the red, even though it's the same fiber, the red was like super compacted and like dense, and then the, you know, from too much dye, and then the white and pink weren't as compacted, so it makes one end really fluffier than the other. So they look really nice and I'm super happy about this. I've made other bats that I haven't been able to spin yet because I, I have I just so backlogged. Like I dye so much fiber and I bought a bunch of fiber last year for like hand dyed by other people and I just wasn't spinning a whole bunch. So now like I really want to spin the bats that I've made but I backlog. So after I finish spinning the two of my hand fiber that I'm working on now, I'm going to spin some of the solid color bats that I showed previously on um, the podcast. There's like some solid yellow, some solid red, and some solid teal, and I'll be spinning that for a daybreak shawl. But these bats, I'm giving away. I'm giving away in my group on Ravelry. So it's just going to be a random drawing um, for Valentine's Day. So I'll probably post... Um, a thread of for it um, about the same time this video goes up. I'm recording it on a Tuesday the 20th. I don't know exactly when I'll actually upload because I'm hoping to not be at the house all day today. But whenever I upload, I'll also post the 
post the uh, thing in the group about get, doing this giveaway and what it's going to be is I'll post a thread and it's just Valentine's Day thread. Just post something. I really don't care what you say in the thread. You know, you can post your favorite thing about Valentine's Day, your favorite memory about Valentine's Day, or your favorite kind of chocolate, or something not related at all. I saw a meme on Facebook the other day that said, uh, let's get rid of Valentine's Day and replace it with the second Halloween. I'd be all for that. I'd be all for that. So uh, we'll do something and then I'll do a random drawing and just pick someone at random and you'll get all four ounces. So all three bats. <laughs> um, so yeah, needless to say, if you don't spin, don't enter. Okay, I really want someone to, to like enjoy the bat and like actually spin them, so that's like a caveat. But I can't, I'm not gonna double check up on you and see whether you have hand spun on Ravelry or not, but just, you know. I know people love winning stuff, but <laughs> So I had like a small amount of like extra fiber, like when you're blending on the bat, some of the fiber like sticks on the drum carter, and um, so I had extra, like after I finished the bats, I pulled all that stuff off the drum carter that kind of got stuck, and I ended up with three ounces. And so I was like, whatever, I'll do something with those three ounces. And so I put them on the drum carter in this really tiny narrow band. And I put it through once. And that's something that I wanted to try because for these bats, I only put them through the drum carter once. And depending on how blended you want the colors to be, you can put it through the drum carter multiple times. And so that's what I did with this is I, I put it through once in this narrow band and then I pulled it out and it was kind of floofy and and stuff, and so then I put it back in, this already been carded on the drum carter, put it back in for a second pass, it blends the colors way more together, it makes it f finer and it thinner and it spreads it all out, and then I pulled it off the drum carter, and I had this really thin, wispy, like, layer, sort of like if you've, if you've ever spun with silk hankies, it was kind of like this wide drum carded silk hanky, that's how thin it was, and I pulled it off the drum carter and then I rolled it into a Rolex. It's fluffy. It's just this one little 0.3 ounces of Rolex, but it's super fluffy. I like it. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's just, it's, I mean, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's just like one little thing, but maybe I'll just collect Rolex made out of the leftovers for my blending and then spin a rainbowy thing in the future. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? I could spit a rainbow of leftover Rolex. Ah, oh, I love it. And I had the second little bit. It's still part of the 0.3 ounces I mentioned before. It's just, I, um, the, the, when it, when I was rolling it, part of it was like super wispy and like didn't want to be attached anymore. So I just pulled that off and it rolled them separately. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much everything I've been up to fiber wise in the last week. Uh, normally, this video cast is a bi-weekly um, show uh, when I upgrade date at all, when I load film at all. It's usually bi-weekly just because I don't always do a lot of crafting um, over the week and it's usually, when I do craft, it's usually not enough to have progress interesting enough to record for, you know, 15 minutes or whatever. Um, but this week, I did a lot. Um, you know, I finished a hat, I finished some spinning, I started new spinning. Um, it was a good week, so I'm recording. But just all that to say, you know, this is not like your normal kind of YouTube channel where you can expect a video at a specific time every week. So it's just, you know, all that to say is subscribe to my channel so that when I post something, YouTube will tell you and you can come watch it and you don't have to keep refreshing my page to see if there's something new. Right? Because I know you guys all love me, right? So that's pretty much all I have to say. It's a little short episode, but you know, all the good stuff in it. And I will see you when I see you. Peace. Check out this awesome shirt I got for Christmas. I don't know if you can see, but it's a cross-stitch shirt. I don't know why my voice is so high-pitched today. Sorry. Uh, that's going to be edited out. But yeah. Um... I am a fan of all the crafts, and even though I haven't done any cross stitch for a while, I'm still thinking about cross stitch. Seriously though, peace.